Hey guys, how you going? Uh, I thought I'd just do a quick video for you. Um, this is for people who have just, like myself, bought their first um, electronic kit. Um, I've probably had mine for two months now. Anyway, there's a couple of things I've found out which tends to help <clears throat> keep your kit in um, really good condition. The first one is to do with the symbols and all the rubber parts on your kit. Um, I noticed after a couple of months, me being anal that I am, <coughs> that when hitting the symbols and stuff, it started to mark and I thought, hmm, eventually that mustn't be good for the rubber. So I rang up Roland and I spoke to them and they suggested two things for um, for protecting and treating and looking after <coughs> the symbols on your kit and all the all the um, rubber on the rims and stuff. The first one was Windex, which is a glass cleaner. I didn't like that option because I don't like the smell. Plus, it's chemical. Um, the second one was good old lemon oil, which you can't beat. <laughs> can be used for so many things. Anyway, they suggested that you put this <coughs> um, on your symbols and, and, and all your rubber parts about once a week. As I said, that, that conditions and protects all the rubber. You only need to use this sparingly. You don't need to use a lot. Um, so a bottle this size will go quite a long way. <coughs> As I said, I've, I've been using it probably for a month now and I've noticed um, a difference in um, how the rubber looks and stuff so if you just got your kit I would suggest that you get this and and use it once a week just to protect all the rubber I mean kit electronic kits are not cheap so you want to look after them also the second thing I noticed with my kit after playing it for a couple of months was to do with the 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 beater head on the the bass drum <coughs> pedal I noticed that the on on the the rubber part of the bass drum um, it was starting to indent from from the bass pedal and I thought well if you know obviously if you keep on using it that indentation is going to get bigger and eventually it would wear through the front part of the the rubber on the bass drum so once again I did, I did some ringing around and um, spoke to a guy at Roland in Australia who knows absolutely everything about the kits <coughs> and he said to me yeah that will eventually happen and just replace the rubber part on the front of the kit. <clears throat> I didn't like that option. I thought, well, I've spent a lot of money on the kit. I don't want to go spending more money on having to replace parts and stuff. <clears throat> um, and since I use this on my bass drum on my acoustic kit, I thought this would be a good option for the electronic kit. And it's a good old Fallon Slam patch. Um, I brought the big one because it covers the biggest, uh, bigger area surface, obviously. But eventually, I want to put a, maybe a double bass pedal on there. Um, so I got this, um, put it on, and it works really well, actually. Um, it makes the sound of the beater just a little bit louder so if that's a concern to you you might want to consider that <coughs> excuse me but if you want to protect the rubber on your bass drum on your electronic kit I suggest that you get one of these and put it on they come in different sizes so you can get smaller than this if, if you if you want to get one um, and I've also found by using this you don't have to change the sensitivity on the kit for the bass drum. Um, so this should 
protect the rubber and you should never have to replace the front part of your bass drum. So that, that's a really good option. Um, that's all I've got to say really. This is just a really quick video with just a couple of tips for the for your kit. Um, I hope you use these ideas, suggestions I should say, and, and it'll help to preserve your kit and hopefully you won't have to spend any more money um, on a kit that you've already outlaid on. Anyway, that's it. See ya. Thanks.